Welcome back to the Civic Side TV Newsroom. I'm your host, Jake Kraus, reporting from Washington, D.C. This week, we have new research, science engagement strategies, and more exciting news coming from the world of civic science. A new study looks at how 21 top environmental groups talked about climate change on Facebook and how their approach affected public engagement through likes, shares, and comments. Scientists found that these organizations usually focus on the environmental impacts of climate change, the political actions taken to fight it, and political threats that could slow down progress. Interestingly, posts with an emotional angle, whether positive or threat-based, tended to get more engagement, suggesting that feelings drive more interaction on climate content. November 10th was World Science Day for Peace and Development. This day celebrates the role of science in tackling global challenges and promoting peace, from climate action to clean water and sustainable energy. The theme for this year was Science for a Sustainable Future. Schools and community centers around the world hosted fun activities to make science relatable and accessible. Share your favorite science fact with hashtag World Science Day. And remember, as Einstein said, peace can only be achieved through understanding. In celebration of World Science Day, science communication publication The Brilliant has announced the winners of its science poetry competition. These poems find inspiration and in the wonder of science and are a unique way to celebrate scientific ideas. Check out the published poems online at the link below. National Academies of Sciences announced the 2024 Eric and Wendy Schmidt Awards for Excellence in Science Communication. These cash prizes were awarded to nine scientists, nine journalists, and six science communicators for connecting the public with science and making science into accessible award-winning stories. Congratulations to the awardees and see the full list at the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this week's Civic Science Newsroom. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest news and opportunities in civic science. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.